Now here in the Twin Cities, Ukrainians are watching this in horror, feeling helpless. Some of them marched in Minneapolis today to protest Russia's aggression. And Fox Science Bab Santos went along with them. He joins us live from Minneapolis from the Ukrainian American Community Center. Babs. Yeah, that group left here just before 2 p.m., probably just under 100 in all, and they marched from here to Nicollet Mall. It's grief, unbelief, um, heartaches, sleepless nights. With Russia's invasion of Ukraine now in its third week, cries for peace continue around the world and here in the Twin Cities. On Sunday, many Ukrainian Americans marched through downtown Minneapolis. A show of support for the now more than two and a half million people who fled from the missiles and bombs of Russia. We're going to sing. We're going to dance. We're going to show the world that we will live. And together, Ukraine will be free. Almost all of Valeria Doctor's family remains near Kyiv, and she's enraged about what they've had to endure. I'm mad. I'm really mad. I, I am my heart bleeding. I. I don't know how it's possible to do something like that. During Sunday's march, the group stopped and laid down on the ground to send a message of defiance in the face of the suffering their loved ones are living through. It's devastating. People are dying every single day and kids. It's Irina Kasparovich says her mother's residential building was bombed in late February. After one day of waiting, she learned her mother had survived in a bomb shelter. Mom was just like bowling and she almost never cries. So it was... Um, I, I could say it was traumatic. She refused to leave because she said 78 years old woman say, said that who will defend our country. And so many of them here today spoke about the need to defend their country, but they also took time to teach Ukrainian songs and dance to children here today. They feel like now more than ever, it's dire that they do their best to preserve their country's culture. Back to you.